This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Okay, folks, I'm back with Sam, and we're about to start turn one of the saga, or hell, the last saga. Um, so, first things first, I'm going to go and uh, read what we're doing here. Yeah, well, let me give a little bit of a background since this is the second scenario. Sure. Um, just so that people kind of have the idea. The first scenario is where we, we actually... Um, kind of make landfall and we kind of begin to understand that something strange is going on. Uh, the, the first scenario is a little bit of an expedition where we're kind of going out into the new land that we've just arrived at. Mm -hmm. And we're starting to understand that things are not as we had hoped they were going to be. And so at the uh, end of the uh first scenario we're kind of uh, basically told that uh, we need to go further um, we're here we're trying to find the settlement that our king has established a year ago and we soon find out that um, uh, the things are, are are not as good as we had hoped them to be so now we are looking for the camp our 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 leader Alver is not doing well at all and so we need to get him healed and we need to find the camp we need to find our clan we need to figure out what's going on and uh figure out how best to survive and so now with that um we we go to paragraph 300 in the saga book which is the starting of this scenario mm -hmm. and go ahead jerry okay so you take a quick look around, a deathly silence reigns. Magnificent and grotesque, the dragon's head dominates. The sad guardian of a devastated and ransacked camp, where old sailcloths and piles of empty boxes lie in heaps. Did Thor unleash his storms upon these hilltops? Did famine and cold force your predecessors to abandon the camp? Did those gesticulating creatures with deformed arms attack them? So many questions leap to your minds while the detestable yelping of your pursuers slowly subsides in the gloomy light of this strange place. Might they not dare to come this far? Would they be frightened of the camp? Reassured, you survey the surroundings until you finally find a suitable landing place that would allow your drakkar to moor. One of you blows a horn with all their might, hoping your companions will understand the message. After an unbearable wait, you finally see the silhouette of the ship approaching. Brandishing a torch, you signal your presence with sweeping gestures that finally allow the ship, after several complex manoeuvres, to avoid the reefs, to dock. As you help your comrades to disembark, you are told of Alvar's condition has worsened. He swings between incoherent mumbling, screams of pain and sudden loss of consciousness. Time is short, and you must gather the most able-bodied among you to search the camp, find food, light a fire worthy of the name to ward off the biting cold that's exacerbated by the wind, tend to your wounded, and perhaps find traces of your clan. So, we are told to put into play the special card, Carry Alvar. Yep. So, as an active and hero... Alvar here. Yep. Yep, uh, so it's an active hero in the same area as Alvar. Alvar's token may perform the following action mm -hmm. uh, by performing a valiance test with a difficulty of two. So uh, basically what he's going to be able to do uh, is they're going to roll a number of dice equal to their valiance mm -hmm. uh, and be able to move Alver exactly one space. Okay. Um, uh, so the first time Alver's token is uh, located in the same area as the bonfire, uh, we do the uh, bottom there where it says advance uh, the heal Alver objective marker, and then we also gain two morale. Okay. So our our initial goal is to get Alver to the, the bonfire there, get it lit, mm. and so we can move the story along in that in that specific point. So we need to get Alver from there all the way through to the center of the camp. Yep, that, that seems simple enough. 
I mean, what could go <laughs> what could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, right? Oh, very much so. I don't even know why we needed all of these people. The first thing we do in any turn then um, uh, is okay. The first thing that has to happen here is that the the leader of the group, which right now is is Queen Queen Petronia, yeah, uh, she's going to determine who the scout is, and the scout is basically going to be the the first character mm -hmm. to take a turn within the the round, and then we'll alternate back and forth. Of course, there are eight characters in the scenario, mm -hmm. and so all eight are played. So Jerry has taken four of them, and I've taken four of them as well, and that was determined before we started the recording. Um, and so he'll choose which character is going to go first, and then we'll alternate back and forth until we've, we've activated all of our characters. Okay. Uh, do we draw the fate card now to see how many actions we get for this turn, or is no, this, or is this we, always? We have to determine. Yeah, we have to determine who the scout's going to be first. First, okay. So, the scout always has to move first, which means yes. we have two choices: we either find somebody nimble, who makes a very good scout, or we find somebody very, very fighty and tanky, uh, yes. who will survive any coming encounters. Yes. Um, I think right now, um, nimble, uh, or rather, is, is it nimbility? Is that uh, agility. Um, agility. There you go. Okay. I, yep. I like nimbility. Nimbility is good. great, though. I am a <laughs> firm believer in that. Um, uh, I think that's probably going to, because we need to uh, get out there and, and, and move, possibly mm. get some more food, um, because our familiars, in order to activate them, they're going to they're going to require food. So um, okay. we've only got, uh, I think, three right now. Is that right? We have three. Yeah, three. I am going to bring this three. over. And we have a young wildling. Um, yeah. So Oslog. Yep. Uh, Oslog. She, and she has a pretty cool ability where... All of the all of the hexes, as long as it's not an impassable hex, mm -hmm. only count one for her movement. So she's Which pretty is, cool. She's pretty fast. Yeah. It means she can ignore a lot of the intervening terrain and, and get around there. So she shall be our scout. Okay. Alrighty. Well, now that we've done that, we're going to go ahead and uh, go back to the clan board and take our first fate card. Mm -hmm. And um, we'll flip it. Mm -hmm. Bonk and go ahead and you want to read that jerry uh, if you want the yeah. event is bled dry your second wounded which we currently have many uh, can take no more continuing to advance seems to be beyond their strength some are ready to give up and let themselves fall into unconsciousness to put an end to this nightmare every active hero who has at least one wound which is all of us must perform mm -hmm a willpower test where x equals the number of wounds suffered in case of failure this hero suffers a wound oh this is right. a terrible card to get right off the bat um <laughs> our heroes only well, have one action we, each as well yes for this um uh, we only have uh, that's the second part is mm. we only have one action mm. uh and then if we want extra actions um we have to spend a food mm. but we can only do that a maximum of one time yeah and we only have three food so correct so again i think it's you know it's imperative that we we try to get some we try to go get some more food as, as quickly as possible sure. um but okay so now we're going to go ahead and um Roll dice for each of our each of our characters. Yep. So I'll start with uh, Hyming. He mm -hmm. has two. Uh, he has two dice. So I'm going to go take these two guys over here, and uh, I have to get at least one success. Okay. And if I don't, then he's going to take another wound. So I'll go ahead and give those a roll, and I have a success. So no success no of... problems there. So he's fine. Yeah. Do and you want then... to do all of yours, and then we'll flip over and see how badly I can roll blanks. Yeah. All right. All right. We'll do that. So now um, uh, Bergen is going to go mm -hmm. and uh, she also has two willpower. So we take these two dice and roll them and she's good cool. to go. Uh, we go over to um, Drang. He yes. also has two willpower. Yep. So we'll roll those two dice 
and that's a miss. So that's Durang not great. has to take another wound, and so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and I'll assign that in just a moment. Okay. And then over here, uh, Ocelog only has one willpower, so she's going to uh, go ahead and roll the die, and that's also, now that's actually really bad. That, that isn't great. For her. So I've got a wound here, and then I'll have to determine where I want where to put it. Put I'm probably just going to put it on shoot one because I don't want her to yeah, lose. You don't, want, don't want to lose the an ability effect. before the game starts. <laughs> before the game starts, right. Oh, we're so, doing so we'll well. put that there. And then for Drang, uh, we're going to go ahead and put it on Rage, his Rage ability. Okay. So that is it for me. Okay, so <coughs> my mixed bag, I have from willpower 1 to willpower 3. No, from willpower 1 to willpower 4. So theoretically, I should be able to pass some of these, we would think. Yeah. <laughs> right. It's a first time for everything, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Let's get that. Okay. We'll start with the big one. It'll be less depressing right. after I roll four blanks. <laughs> so, um, so Jerulf, the madman, full of willpower, all of the willpower. Oh, look at that! And he's Breeze good. Is, Breeze wow, is he's, he's got enough willpower for everybody. He's he's got enough in his flask for everybody. It's possibly what he's got. <laughs> Probably been sharing what Herring's been drinking. Um, <laughs> our witch, Ingvild. Another. Oof. Oof. She's good to go. <laughs> she tried her best. One whole shiny dice now for Frody, who, as a blacksmith, you would assume is. Uh, just want to have one. We'll take that there roll. We go. I, I would have, but unfortunately, I was dropping all three. <laughs> that into the air oh yeah oh okay. there we go there's Takes a wound. A wound and lastly my queen and by my queen i mean everyone's queen and she will roll her three and she succeeds yes two so i That's just pretty need, good just need one wound then for fruity it's not like he's doing anything important like carrying alver our sick yarl <laughs> uh, <laughs> Right. Yeah, that'll be fine. Well, we're all fine. Uh, so choices. You'll be fine. It's all right. It, it is. Everything's. We're all fine here. Protection <laughs> or support. I'm going to actually drop that onto support because well, there's a few characters who have support as a as an ability. Yeah. So I feel if I lose it early, I won't be too worried. Uh, so we're ready all to right. go. Yep, that is the. Uh, event card that we had to do. Now we each have one action. Yep. We can spend a food to get an additional action, and we have three food right now. Mm -hmm. So um, another thing that you can um, that's important to note is that you can only use one action to move. Okay. So you can't use two actions to move twice. Uh, so that'll make things a little bit mm, restrictive, more difficult. Yeah. Yeah. It's a little bit yeah. more restrictive, but. Um, we can get there. All right, so the scout is able to go first. So with uh, Oslog, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use one action to move her. She has an agility of two, mm -hmm. which means with her special ability of uh, being a prowler, mm -hmm. uh, all uh, of the areas, entry cost for me is always one. doesn't matter what the entry cost is for everybody else. Okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and move one two like this so okay. we can kind of get over here to this quarry token sure to uh try and do that and then i don't have anything else i can do except i can possibly try to heal myself that, um but that's a second action and would cost us food that that is yeah so um i don't i'm think not saying that, that you shouldn't mm -hmm. um let me just see because obviously i have a healer yeah. Um, now, can she hold or can she heal people? She can. 
You can perform heal actions on yourself or others. Or on others. Yeah. Uh, I imagine I just have to be nearby when I do that. Yeah, nearby is in the same, same hex. Same hex. That's okay. Yeah. So it's. It may not be um, one for this turn, but I can get her in a position where possibly next sure. turn. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Um, that that's it for me then. So it's your turn. Any one of your heroes that you can you, you want to activate. Okay. Um. I suppose. We'll send the madman forward first. <laughs> Send the crazy guy into battle. <laughs> well, that's what I'm thinking. Um, no, he has uh, agility of two. So he can get... He could get all the way up to the, uh, the shrine here, or we really want somebody to get to the bonfire fairly quickly um, as well. Yeah, that could be it. Um, I mean, we just have to get it lit by the end of phase mm -hmm. so that uh, somebody has to light it so that we don't lose the extra two to um, morale. Okay. But so it doesn't necessarily need to be Geralt, but okay. it could. It, it could be. It will. Yep. There are several people who could reach. Sure. Um, in fact, if we, if we actually stall here, if I activate my queen first, so if mm -hmm. I bring in Petronella, because she has authority, so at the end of this hero's activation, another uh, available hero I choose gains one action. Yes. So I forego moving um, to stay in the same hex so I can grant that to somebody else, and I'm just going to heal instead. Okay. So you'll just take one die, and unless I don't think she has an ability, but uh, usually only healers have this ability, but yeah. uh, you, you roll one die. And as long as you don't get, um, you blank. can heal as many successes. Yeah. If you get a blank, then it causes you a wound. Okay. But she is in a, uh, a, a hex with several people who have support, so I can reroll that if needs be. Sure. Um, and our healer says, yeah, no, that'll be fine. So one dice for her. And I'll throw that into the air. Oh blank! There's there's a shock. I will reroll that because of my supporting my supporting clansman here to help me. There we go. And there you go. So we actually remove that wound on the queen, and the queen feels uh, like she's done the Lord's own work. Is there anybody we want to grant? Is there anybody on your side who you think would benefit? right now from um, the, an additional action obviously everybody would but right i mean um yeah any anybody pretty much would but it's it's really i mean hindsight is always 2020 20. it probably <laughs> it may have been better if uh uh the queen was able to go before Oslog. yeah so that but she, gotten, she uh, can't uh, be the turn. she but can't be the scout, scout and stuff right? yeah so, so we, we right. know that for so, next time. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. No yeah. worries. No worries. Um, mistakes are made. That's all. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't have a preference, honestly. Um, maybe, maybe the witch. Um, if you give the witch the uh, extra action, she can move in here, and um, then perform a prayer action, which would get us pray as well. Cards yeah. out here. That sounds good to me. Or the other thing That's, I was thinking way, is possibly uh, Bergen, because. And well, I don't know how beneficial this will be, but Bergen could move forward and then send her bear out to try and um, reveal that, that threat. Well. That is true as well. So, which which do you think we we want to go for right now? Is threat threat spotting better, the, or do we want to get prayers on the board? Bergen Bergen is more than willing to get in the fight. I'll just put it that way. Um. The prayer she would bring to the table is animal senses for searching areas. I, I think we'll give it to Bergen. Yeah, and that's that's okay. everything my queen can do this turn. All right, so it comes back to me, and I can choose one of my people to do something. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, that's one thing that I do need to make sure that these tokens are supposed to be used to Mark activations. activations. Yeah. So 
I'm going to put that on Auslog just so that I know that she's been done again, and I'll put this off of it just so that we know it's an extra action. Okay. All right. So um, we'll go ahead and do that then. Now I can I can move Bergen, um, mm -hmm. and I'm pretty sure she can move too, which means that she can get um, she can get into that prayer space. Mm -hmm. Um, and possibly give an additional success to another person with the wilds following mm -hmm. for prayer. For prayer, yeah. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, let, for that second action that you've given me, mm -hmm. I'm going to call my familiar into... Um, into existence. Okay. So this will cost us one of our meager three pieces of food. Yes. I'll just... And uh, he has a, an agility of two, so that means he can be deployed up to two spaces away. Okay. So I'm just going to. So we'll go ahead and put that over here. Okay. So when he enters an area, then what effect does that yeah. have? When he enters the area, uh, he can search. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. He can search um, to reveal threats and attack a hostile okay. in the order of your choice. So we're going to go ahead and do his perception check, okay. which is a two. Yep. So I'll take my two dice here and roll them. And I just need to get a one success and I got two so that does reveal the threat okay so we go ahead and flip that over oh three ouch um, ouchy delightful. ouchy so when you flip a um, token that tells you how many of a specific threat there are yeah, yeah. so not lucky but no. uh, <laughs> so we'll get these three guys over here and we'll move them on over Move them on over. And uh, move them like that. Okay. Move him there. And we can discard And the... then that one's taken away. Yeah. Oh, not him. You stay there. <laughs> you stay there. So that gets just moved out all the way. Okay. So... All right. Now, normally, I'll just go ahead and mention this here. If this was a... Um, if this is a hero mm -hmm. revealing that token in that spot, then they would be taking three wounds right now. Okay. Um, that they would not be able to defend against. Sure. Which is why ambushes are a little bit more nasty than just being attacked. Mm. Um, but since uh, it's a familiar, that doesn't happen. Uh, so now he can attack hostile. Okay. So now that we have these guys over, we need to go over to the clan board. Sure. And uh, flip this over so that we now see how this person is going to act. So uh, the vermin are going to be, they have a two valiance, they have uh, one defense, and then they also have uh, a movement of one. Okay. Um, they're going to attack the player that is closest to them mm -hmm. first, the most wounded character after that, and then the highest level rank after that. Okay. When we defeat a vermin, we're going to be reading uh, paragraph 33. Okay. Um, from the uh, saga book. All right. So with um, the bear taking his attack, mm -hmm. um, uh, Olaf is going to be rolling two dice for his attack, and he's going to be targeting one of the vermin. And okay. he has to get at least one hit. And since that particular kind of uh, hostile doesn't have any wounds, which is shown in the bottom left-hand side of their card. Okay. Uh, and uh, as long as you score one hit, it's removed from the board. All right. Um, but right. other characters that are bigger will have a number of wounds that you have to accrue on them before they're knocked out. So we may find quite a lot, but they're uh, they're small pests. They're not brutal Ooh. brutal things yet. Well, that little vermin is squishy. Oh yes. 
All right, so we'll go ahead and uh, remove one of these guys from the board, put him back over here. Okay. And that is the end of that turn. Okay, so do we then or, read um, yes. the paragraph? Yes. Uh, go ahead and read uh, paragraph 33. 33. In the bushes, a constant rustling. So they really are men, or at least living examples of the most grotesque idol gesticulating in pagan dance resembling martial training they advance spears and lances in hand faces hidden by masks with terrifying expressions muffled cackles get louder and a malevolent glint pierces through the lifeless eyes of the wooden faces they wear hmm. delightful little people <laughs> i'm so glad we met them the friendly the yeah right friendly locals yeah <laughs> right i'm going to attempt um to bring Frody up, dragging Alvar's semi-incoherent body with him. I was going to say corpse, but he's still alive for the moment. So Frody has a valiance of four, and he also has um, support nearby in the form mm -hmm. of Henning the Bard. Correct. So I can reroll a single mm -hmm. die and I only need uh, two successes to drag him one hex. That's correct. Okay, that's that's all fine. We can do this without uh, too much pain, I would hope, anyway. <laughs> Spin the wheel, make me rich. Ah, that'll be no then. Let's re-roll my one for support. Yes. Oh, just the no, one, just one of them. Oh, I'm still all grouped. Oh, technology. <laughs> how, I, how I love you, Sue. I, I just want one of them. Just give me that one. Just that one. There we go. All right. Into the air. No. And it's a no. It's a no. Poor Alvar. Trapped. Frody can't get him up onto his shoulder and off this boat. It's rocking too much. Who thought well, a dragon he, he, was a good shape for a boat? <laughs> Right. All right. Well, that's uh, that's one thing. Um, yeah. I think that's just one action. So uh, I think if you want to, um, I'd be okay with you spending some food to try to get him to moved. Try to another. Uh, yeah, to I, try to try again. You know, to give it another go. I'm all for that. Let's just take one of the food away. Put it over there, and let's see if I can beat the odds by actually. Beating the odds. And into the air again. Ooh, and looky there. I did. Look at me go. <laughs> Nobody is more surprised than I, except maybe everybody who knows me. Let's drag Alvar up here with me. Okay. So that is my second and back to you sir all right so bergen uh has has gone as well so i've got dring and hemming hmm. with me so hmm okay so let's go ahead and get um thank you you're welcome I appreciate that uh let's go ahead and get hemming moving up with okay. Uh, actually, you know what? We're going to have Dream move out since uh, let's see where you put Albert. Yep. Um, okay, so let's get Dream moving, and he has a movement of two as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go one and two mm -hmm. right over here, and we'll see how that goes. Could spend. And um, I could possibly try to heal. Um, no, I can't because that would be a second. second action. Action. Never mind. But um, we do have the possibility to try and light the bonfire, so we're not going to lose too many morale. Um, yeah, that's true. Um, Will it cost us a, the last food as well as a second action? It does. Well, I'm hoping. I'm hoping that uh, next round I'll be able to uh, take Oslog and mm -hmm. go over there and hunt. Yeah. Um, 
granted that we'll have a couple actions on the fate card, hopefully. Okay. So um, I think so that other people don't have to. I'm going to go ahead and use that food. Yeah, I think so. For a second action. And uh, we'll go ahead and, and uh, light the fire. Okay. So, uh, by using two wood. A rapidly dwindling stores. Yeah. Well, we've got to, that's another thing. We've got to get some people to go. Uh, um, Foraging. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Drang at least has got the, uh, the bonfire going. The camp is lit up like, I was going to say Christmas, but <laughs> to depend, depending on which member of the clan, they may or may not believe in Christmas. Well, it is a winter wonderland. So oh, well, very, good. very much so. <laughs> I can't wait to meet Santa. Worse, we're probably going to uh, run into Krampus. That's that's more. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a, a, a formulating around Krampus, not 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 old <laughs> Saint Nick. <laughs> I, think I will send out the healer. She has a chimney of two. No questions. I am actually, as much as I would like to go praying right now, I'm actually going to move her in here if she can. If there's not another, that's only one hex, isn't mm -hmm. it? Yes, good. Yes. So potentially next turn, if we hold uh, Oslug's activation, I might be able to get a little heal onto her first. Okay. That's my thinking there. All right. So our witch is gone. And one of your remaining, or your remaining character, rather. Okay. Um, so it'll have to be the bard. Yeah, I've got Hyming here. And um, I'll just move one, two up here like this. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put him here. Okay. That way, um, the witch will be able to reroll. Oh, for healing good. test? Yes. So a little bit of support, support is always handy, yeah. Yeah. So um that looks like just leaves me with the madman. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna bring him up up into here. So he uh, he cannot pray, but he can benefits from the all of the beliefs from all of people's mm -hmm. prayers so you know it's nice yeah, he can, which, he can which, dance dance around the shrine for a little while and uh yeah he's and in he, a position he where actually he can... oh man you know what we did <laughs> we didn't do h um that that should have fired off immediately when right. uh, brigand ro rolled in there so let's go ahead and do that real quick okay uh we'll just say that Geralt did it not not Bergen. okay um, so we go over here to the bookmark, yes. um, and we look at the H, and that says we need to read paragraph 186. Okay. So you are at the foot of what from afar you thought was a dragon, and while the entire camp is in ruins, the structure still stands proudly above the debris. It seems to have escaped the devastation. Those that came before had worked hard to erect this tower, using the wood of their drakkar, proudly crowning it with the prow of their ship. The entire structure is covered with notches or poorly crafted figures carved in the wood. When you slip inside the shelter, you discover the cascade of melted candles, a jumble of bones and bunches of dried plants piled up in what was once an iron shield. And as you wonder about this strange sanctuary, whispers seem to enter your mind. People have prayed here before, begged and pleaded. An immense force seems to be concentrated in this place. Okay. So what we do now is we add prayer cards four, five, and six to the available pool, mm -hmm. which is right over here. And so we'll simply move these up and flip them over. Okay. And now they are available for prayer support. Um, again, you have to do an, a prayer action, and then at the bottom of the card that you're trying to accomplish, that's what uh, the kind of test you'll mm -hmm. have to do. The resource that you can pay in order to yeah, uh, get an, an additional su yeah. success if you need it. Okay, that gives us but, a, um, a bit more of a 
a, a bit more of an interesting choice for the people who get in there and start praying. We also right. um, move our find the clan forward by Ooh. one. Now this actually should have been on uh, the second spot there from the previous scenario. So that pushes yes. us up to three for find the clan. Yes, it is. So that's good. All right. Um, and so now what we'll do is we'll do I. Okay. Apart from the imposing tower that served as your landmark in this partially collapsed longhouse, there is not much left of the camp that your predecessors set up. The overriding impression is one of ransacking and hasty desertion. There is not a single living soul left, nor a single dead body that could indicate that your clan had been held at bay by the savages you met. This last thought is almost reassuring. Perhaps your comrades have moved to a more hospitable place, and in that case, perhaps they've left you a message. You search in vain through the scattered debris of the ruined building, but if you rekindle the hearth that is there, if you could provide a warm makeshift shelter under fur until further searches can be organized. So now we're going to put into play special action card number two, bonfire. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we're also going to move the objective marker, find your clan toward forward one space. Okay. So the bonfire card is we can spend an action or we'll take an action to spend two wood to flip this token. So that's the that's essentially what we've done. It's just telling us that's the mechanics what, of that's that. What we've done. Right. Okay, and our find the clan goes forward. So we're getting quite good at finding the clan. Yeah, mm -hmm. not doing too bad. Yeah. Again, what he could go wrong? Healing Alvar, not less so, but you know, omelette and eggs. <laughs> Uh, and that is the yeah, last of our actions for the heroes. Way. Yes. And that's all the heroes, correct? That is it, yeah. All right, so now we move on to the hostiles phase, where if you look at the fate card again, mm -hmm. uh, in hostiles phase, the first uh, thing that's happened is that we're going to, uh, first of all, move the threats. So we look at the threats that are out there, and right now we have, um, we have a single threat over here that will yes. move and um so we've got two uh heroes that are actually three heroes that are equidistant right now mm -hmm. so we've got bergen uh Gerolf over here by the prayer thing and then we have uh drang over here lighting the fire and they're both three spaces away mm -hmm. so he's going to move uh one space to the one that uh is highest on his priority list so on his priority list is going to be the the closest one and then there's the most wounded. So okay. I think I think Dring is the most wounded. I think he has two. He has two. How many does Geralt has? Just the one. Just the one? Just the one. And then I'm pretty sure Bergen only has one as well. So he's definitely going to move towards Drang. Okay. So uh, we'll go ahead and move him one here, like so. Okay. And next thing that happens is that uh, threats will shoot X um, if they can. Mm-hmm. So he has uh, those those verm. Um, well, they don't have up here the shoot one. Actually, he does, but it's just shoot one, and he's he's not adjacent to anybody. Okay. So he's not actually actually going to be able to shoot anything. Okay. So he can't reach this um, turn. Fine. Okay. Um, and then any engaged hostiles attack, and then new threats appear. There okay. aren't any engaged hostiles over here. If there had been heroes over here, yep. Um, they would be considered engaged. But um, familiars don't count. Correct. Yeah. Familiars don't count. So um, that's all fine. And now we we launch some new threats. So if you look down here, it says that um, at location B, mm -hmm. we have some of these guys show up. So okay. Um, uh, and B is not out yet. So if it's um, not, not there, here, then it doesn't have place. Okay. That's good. So what about the hostels that have been revealed? Do they move towards? Yes. And again, they're equidistant to uh, both Gerolf and Bergen. Okay. And they both have one. So it goes to their, um, uh, it goes to, they both have one wound. So it goes to their rank in society. Okay. I'm pretty sure Gerolf is lower there. So they're going to come after uh 
they're going to come after Bergen. Yeah. Now they would normally shoot if they could, but mm -hmm. they can't. So they're going to move one. And when they arrive there, can they attack when they're uh, adjacent? Um, no, engaged hostiles attack. Mm -hmm. um, so threats that have a shoot action will perform their ranged attacks first, following the threat order. And then if hostiles are not engaged, they move. And then engaged hostiles will attack then. Okay. So um, <clears throat> they move, then attack. Okay. Um, and uh, not in that order. Or not in any other order. Yeah. So they're coming to get us, but that's okay. That leaves us with. Um, and that that uh, yeah, and then we would spawn, but there's nothing to spawn nothing because to spawn. that other spawn point isn't out there yet. So we will lose one of our lovely fire, yeah. one of our morale. One of your morale, correct. So and then um, that away. any familiars that have been used come back. Okay. Discard At the end of the round. round. And that's the end of our first turn. Yep. I think that's it a sure substantial, is. substantial beachhead in there. Okay, so the first thing in the second turn then. Uh, do we advance yes. the turn tracker first or do we nominate the scout first? I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of it. Oh, you're already there. You can go ahead and do that. Yeah, that's, that's okay. So we go to turn two <coughs> and we need a new scout. And because of our, our cunning plan, we are not going to make that uh, our little wild lady. I'm actually going to make the witch the scout for this turn. I concur. That's a good idea. Um, and then I suppose we flip a fate card and see what this turn has in store for us. That is correct. Let's see if I can. Not the whole thing. Yeah, go there there we go. go. So this turn is a premonition. A premonition. All right, so faced with a stranger who is ever more menacing, the most pious among you decides to meditate and to look around for a sign, however small, that would allow you to find the strength to continue. So the player controlling the hero with the highest willpower, I believe that's you, hmm. and the lowest rank applies one of the following effects. I think both of those are, are yeah, I think it's Geralt. by Geralt. Yeah. All right, so you can do one of these two things. You can look at the next fate card, you can put this card at the bottom of the fate deck, mm. or you can cancel the end effect of this current card. Right. Ooh. The end effect is lose three. Lose three morale, right. You know, how much worse can the next fate card be, really? <laughs> well, that's the million dollar question, isn't, isn't it? it? <laughs> isn't it, though? Um, I think if you've no objections, I think I'm just going to cancel the lose three. That's I, I would agree with that, yeah. I think. And we do we start our, our phase with all our actions intact, all the heroes have two actions each. Yes. So yeah, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and, and call that one now that uh, there shall not be three morale lost at the end of this phase. Okay. Okay, so chuck all of those over. Um in the event phase we have to flip the bonfire. Yes. So it it burns out, which mm -hmm. is, you know, disappointing, so, but not unexpected. True. Well, what I'm planning on doing is I'm planning on using train to mm -hmm. try and go find some wood. And then I'll put uh, Hyming in mm -hmm. uh, to keep the fire going, as I think that's what a bard would do. Okay. Um, so that's what I'm planning on doing with my guys. So. Um, I, I plan on failing to shift Alvar's apparently quite fat. <laughs> but I'm assuming it's just well armored. That's all. He's taken on a lot of seawater into his leather. That's what's weighing him down. Um, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm going to start with uh, Ingvald because she is our scout. But okay. um, 
she's going to heal and she's going to attempt to heal uh, Oslog. Okay. So that. And you can reroll one die. And I can reroll She one has die. the healer ability, correct? Yes. Okay, so she rolls two dice and then you can reroll one because of timing support. Mm, and she ignores the blank result that would normally inflict correct. a yes. additional wound. And the last thing we want to do is wound the little lady anymore. So yeah, she's going to take these two, throw them into the air. Ooh. Ooh. I'm not going to reroll that. Yeah, that's good. I can I can heal too. That, um, that will help her. So I definitely will. Yep. So that's her fighting fit again. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, that was no, one action. That was one action. So for my second action, I'm going to move, and I'm thinking about moving. Hmm. I said I'm going to move. Is it possible to? How does foraging work for the likes of wood? Wood does it have to be in a specific hex or? Yeah, you do have to. You have to find. Um, you have to find where it is. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Might be over here somewhere like this. I don't know. Okay. Could be. Could not be. I don't know. Um, there's also this one over here that we have to search first. Okay. So it's one of these two spaces that's going to allow us to get more wood. Uh, she's not going to reach. Yeah, Drain, Drain will be able to reach it. Yeah, okay. So rather than start <clears throat> throwing herself out there, I'm actually going to move us or move her into a position where she can do some hefty praying. Okay. And everybody will feel the benefit of her prayers sooner rather than later. And that is... Yeah. Uh, that's it. the witch's scouting move. I okay. think that's uh, that's good. That makes up for my inability to drag a, a fat man earlier. So, uh, <laughs> He's stout. He's yeah. not fat. Oh, husky. Yes, there you go. Dense. Um, all right. I'm going to go ahead and uh, have Alsala go. Mm -hmm. uh, and she's going to move one and two out here. Mm -hmm. Her second action is going to be to hunt. Okay. Um, which I believe so I got to double check. I believe survival? it's a uh, or survival. Violence. Yeah, yeah, survival. Um, so her survival is a four. Oh, she's and quite then good. Uh, she. Uh, let's see, runs range attack or hunts. She can roll an additional die, so, so she can roll five dice. Five dice. For this hunt roll. So I need three more. Bringing three all three. the meat back. All right, so I've got four plus one yep. for my um, accuracy. For my accuracy. Mm -hmm. And so let's give these guys a roll. Mm -hmm. And so that is one, two, three, four, five. So that is five um, food Excellent. that we can use. So one, two, three, four. And five. So we've got this over here, and we can put that into okay. our resource pool here. I just grab those. Oh, sorry. Then, I no, thought I had them all. You're okay. And if I do that, <laughs> ta -da, I'm learning this techno magic. <laughs> uh, so the quarry then, that token gets removed. If I move the queen, I can bestow an additional action on somebody. Um, if they have not already activated. Right. So I could bring her over to uh, Dren in the center. Uh, I don't know if a third action would be worthwhile for him. Um, it'll basically give him the ability to... Um, gather wood twice. Oh, Which may not be a bad idea. That might be a way to go then. The alternative is I bring her to Bergen and the others and give either Bergen or Geralt an additional action. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll activate Petronella the Queen and we will bring her over to... Bring her over to Dreng. 
And she will. She is actually unwounded. So she'll just give Drang an extra action for, okay. his, for his next turn. All right. And that will be all my queen can do this turn. All right. Let's see here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and go with what I uh, said I was going to do. Yep. And uh, we'll have Drang move first. And so he'll go one, two. Mm -hmm. Which will activate um, so we'll get Jay. Jay. A few dozen trees have been felled at the edge of the forest. There is no doubt that this is the work of your clan. A rusty saw partially embedded in the trunk is further evidence of the hasty abandonment of the site. And with little determination, you can tackle even these mighty fir trees that pr promise to burn rapidly and fiercely to keep you warm. Stepping back to assess the magnitude of the task ahead of you, you notice you're walking on a bed of still fresh wood shavings. Someone has worked here recently. And as you look for other clues, an intermittent whistling sound attracts your attention. A bottle attached to a branch sways gently in the wind. You, when you take it down, you notice a small scroll rolled up inside, requiring you to break the bottle to examine it. And on it, a few lines in Latin traced in charcoal. Play the special action card, wood cutting and gain the item card artifact 002. Yeah. All right, so um, woodcutting basically allows us to take this token, the woodcutting token, and place it onto the board, which I've already done. Mm -hmm. And then it says for an action, uh, an, an active hero in this area mm -hmm. may perform the following action by performing a valiance test. So you gain as many wood um, that uh, obtain successes mm -hmm. and you flip the token okay. so it can only be done once per round so okay. uh, i guess it's good that you didn't give during the extra <laughs> oh no no i did oh you did i did well, let's say that you but, didn't but no but if, if i thought you didn't if if you hunt for wood <laughs> you could then lose your last action to try and reveal the threat yeah i was just thinking that as well yeah. so that's good Okay. Good ideas. Good ideas. See, See you know team. what you're doing. Go team. You know what you're doing. All right. So that's my uh, first action. Um, mm -hmm. sec oh, I also need to get the uh, artifacts, um, which oh, is which item two. And mm -hmm. if you look over here, yes, if we flip it. Um, it is a parchment from Father Birdo. Oh, good. Um, and the problem is, is that. Uh, um, it's one out of three, mm -hmm. and you have to have uh, a Christian alignment in order to read it. So Dring is uh, most definitely not Christian. It's very Norse. <laughs> yes. And so he can't read it, but okay. uh, he will dutifully uh, bring it back to someone who can at a later point in time. My hope is that between now and then he doesn't get cold and decide to use it for kindling. <laughs> Well, he's, he's about to uh, have a go at, at gathering some wood. Okay. All right. So uh, Dring is up here, and he's going to try to gather some wood with an action. Now, he has a couple of different things mm -hmm. that um, he's able to use in this. So first of all, he's got a Valiance of six. Yeah. And this is a Valiance test. So he's going to be rolling six dice. But if you look at his loner ability, it says that uh, when he is alone, oh. um, he rolls one additional die for each of his tests. So, so that's uh, that means seven he's going dice. to be taking seven dice, that's correct, to gather as much wood. And if mm. you look at the uh, woodcutting thing, you gain as much wood as successes. Um, so it's, uh, he, he's, he's kind of the lumber, lumberjack of, of our group right now. And he's okay. Yes. Um, so we'll go ahead and take uh, two of these guys over here. Well, that only came up as one. And two, so now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All mm -hmm. right, so now we've got all of the things that we need here. And give that a roll. And we've got one, two, three, four, five. So five would get put into five our. Wood. Yeah. It's <laughs> always good. I'll just yeah. grab those. All right. Five of them. And then this token flips. 
And then for the extra action, we're going to try to perform a perception check over here. Mm. Yes. Um, so Drang has a perception of uh, one, mm -hmm. <laughs> but he's alone. So he Perceptive gets to roll two, two dice. Okay. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that. Um, and because there's nothing on the tile to give a specific perception result, it always defaults to one? Yes. Is that right? He has to get at least one in order to flip that, that token over. Okay. So we'll go ahead and do that. And he got one. He got one. So he can, he can flip this over. And there's two bad guys there. Okay. Um, and these are the same little and pests are that the, we've uh, met before. Yes. And they'll go here. Mm -hmm. They appear to have us surrounded. Ah, does we're mean giving we, them a false sense of hope. That's yeah, what it is. We can attack in every direction, though, so that's good. Yeah. Ah, okay, so Dreng's done. Yep. Um, I am going to attempt to bring the delightful Frody forward. So, four dice valiance test to attempt to drag Alvar a little bit closer to the warmth of that bonfire. And our survey says, oh, now he gets all the successes. Where were they the previous turn? Well, he learned his lesson. He learned his lesson. He, he, he figured out, oh, I can do a fireman's carry. <laughs> I can only go one though, even though I would move two because I'm that is correct. Yeah. Way down. Um, I will attempt to heal my uh, with my second action then. So that's okay. a single dice test. Yep. And don't get a blank. Ah, it's, and you didn't get a blank. I didn't get a blank. Didn't get a success, but I didn't get a blank. So correct. We will. So uh, it's not not that. good, but not not bad either. No, it's you know. I have finished where I started. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, um, I think uh, Bergen is going to. Hmm. <laughs> Bergen is going to. She will deploy Olaf mm -hmm. first to come and. Uh, Try to dispatch with some of these guys over here. Okay. So he doesn't have anything to search or oh. reveal, so he's just going to go ahead and straight up attack. Okay. Well, so he's got his uh, two dice. Will cost us one of our lovely food, but that's okay. Yeah. We've got plenty of that now. We're starting to get into our rhythm. And oh, we got three, three, three hits. Three's good. So munchy, munchy. Mm. And then for my second action. Uh, Bergen is going to use her shoot one, mm -hmm. so she can perform a ranged attack on an adjacent area. Uh -huh. And so she's going to take five dice and uh, take a shot at that uh, at that last vermin over there. And the shoot just uses the valiance the same as the melee does. Yes, it does. And that's five successes. Five successes. So squishies. Excellent. We'll have this camp up and running in no time. Then my husband can come back from wherever he's cowering, hiding in a cave. <laughs> a woman's work is never done. No, that's just, true. That's it's true. Just, it's tragic, really. <laughs> um, that leaves me with my madman. So uh, since we're, he's not in a position where he can pray, um, can I then just move him in and set the bonfire alight? You may. That's a good idea. Uh, thus, halting some of our uh, morale burn. Mm -hmm. So that will come. Actually, we're set up right now because you, you you negated the other one. We're set up not to lose any morale this turn. That's fantastic. So that's going to cost that's us. Good. Oh, not morale. That's going to cost us two of our wood. Just remove those and uh, drop them over there. There we are. That's a. Very successful phase. Who said this is going to be the last saga? This is just the beginning. This is the prologue. <laughs> all uh, right, and you're done then? Yep, heroes are all done. 
Is that right? Okay. Well, I've, I've got I've got Hyming. He's oh, you've got left. Hyming left the bard. Yeah. Hyming is left, so um, I think what I'm going to have Hyming do. Well, I can't get over here because hmm. um, I can't move twice. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to have Hyming just move one mm-hmm. over here, and then he'll attempt to try to heal the one wound that he has. Okay. For his second action. And that's a no. No, but he is in a area with two other people, and one of those is McQueen with support. Oh, she does. Okay, so, so I'll, you I'll can try again. That. Yes. There we go. And there we go. All right, super duper. Teamwork. Um, it's good to be a clan. Teamwork. Teamwork. All right, there we go. Um. I'm feeling good, man. Yeah, I think this yeah. is we're, we're we're doing great. We're awesome. I see no troubles in our immediate future. Everything, <laughs> everything is perfect. Everything is fine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's all, it's, okay. So, so uh, what we'll do now is uh, we'll continue on to the hostiles phase. Sure. And um, let me pull up my cheat sheet here for just a second. Okay. Because so we have none that are not revealed right so okay so threats move and there are no threats right now because we mm-hmm. revealed them all so that's inconsequential and threats will shoot but that doesn't happen either hostiles uh who are not engaged move mm-hmm. and then engaged hostiles attack but because of the vermin special ability here where they have that cowardice mm-hmm. um they're just going to stay where they are and shoot at drain because okay. they do have a viable um uh they always go for the person that's closest first and then the most wounded um so he kind of has both of those bases covered unfortunately yeah. all right so um if we look over at their hostiles card mm-hmm. their valiance is two um uh so what i have to do is i have to take drain's defense um which is also two mm-hmm. but he's alone so he gets three um, and he has to get at least two successes for every success that he doesn't get. He'll take a wound. No, um, uh, up to two. So they can do, they're doing, they're doing two damage against me right now. And I'm trying to defend against taking that damage. And I get a base two dice from my, uh, defense. Mm-hmm. Um, and then because I'm alone, I get an extra die. Okay. Um, threats attack as grips. So, Yes. Uh, even though the first one does two, the second one gets a plus one. So right. it's actually three dice. Three. Or it's three, it. three damage. Three but, damage, yeah. But Dreng's actually not too bad because he likes being alone and beaten up by people, apparently. That is true. Now, um, see how it so, says for each two wins he suffered, he gains one defense? Is that right, Does it so, have to be on the same no, ability? No, that's no. another thing that I was just checking, yeah. So yeah. He'll, he'll have... Uh, the two dice, plus one for being alone, and then plus one for having two wounds on him already. Oh, so he'll get four defense. Four defense dice against three damage. He'll shrug this off. I don't even know why you're concerned. <laughs> there you go. He just made it. Just. But he just, just is still it. good enough. Yes, it is. Yep. All right. So that is that uh, attack is averted. Yep. And now new threats appear, and if we look over there, there's still not a B mm-hmm. uh, area because it hasn't been revealed hasn't been yet. Revealed. Um, so, so we no uh, new threats. Everything is quiet. The forest is a delight. It's just like being back home. <laughs> okay. I'm uh, I'm oh, with oh. I'm with That's Geralt, it. and you may not be able to see it right now, but Geralt's actually lying back there making snow angels. I say snow angels. <laughs> he decided to do it right by the bonfire, so it's more like a mud angel. But you no, know, he's his heart's in the right place. His head might yeah, be. He's, enjoy- he's yeah. enjoying himself. That's that's what that's what it is. All right. So um, starting of the third round, yes. we're going to move the round marker over to phase three, mm. which uh, lands on this L. Okay. <clears throat> so now we have to read um, uh, L is uh, paragraph 210. 210. Okay. 
The pests that were amassing at the edge of the forest suddenly cease their manoeuvres. One of them barks, brandishing a fist in the direction of the camp, which causes the disorderly flight of his fellow creatures, who disappear into the woods from whence they came. Astounded, you realise that it is fear that is causing them to run away, but a shiver runs down your spine when you realise that you are not the reason for their fear. An agonising death rattle rises into the air. Alvar, on the point of death, is convulsed with violent spasms and begins to scream, They are here, the spirits that haunt me, they are coming to take me away. His eyes roll back and disappear beneath his lids. You stand alert, scanning the mist that appears at the edge of the camp, as a flock of crows settles on the idols that top the wooden tower, watching the camp, clacking their beaks in unison like a morbid serenade. So we remove all the threat tokens and vermin tokens. Yes. <clears throat> mm. Or vermin hostiles, rather, from the board. Yes. All uh, They're all removed. They all run away. And then... Um, you know, kind of think of it as... Um, uh, they, they sense... The big guy. Yeah. <laughs> and so they're like, blah, 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 blah. you know, Bigger the goblins, coming. the goblins and uh, Moria when the uh, Balrog shows up, you know, that's, uh, that's, that's the general idea. It's the way to do it. So <laughs> uh, we also remove threat card two and put threat card three into play. That is correct. So the two will come away and uh, the third one will be there. Uh, so that goes right here like this. And then these guys are also gone as well. And okay. So we can put them over and these guys are all done. So what in the world is that going to be? Well, we, we, we'll, we'll find we'll out. Find out. Um, we need to now place two more totems, two more spawn points for the threats in A and B. And uh, the final thing will be to place threat B on the totem A and B. Okay, so that's changed the board somewhat. We now have threats to the northeast and southwest, along with two new spawn points. Yep. That's okay. We can we we've dealt with worse. We can deal with that as well. <laughs> um. Next thing we have to do uh, is nominate a scout before we flip the fate counter. That is correct. So, who is best to be scout this turn? I think that uh, getting our fighters going hmm. um, would probably be the best option. But again, it's, uh, it's up to you, Queen. Well, because we are fairly compact at the moment, um, just thinking if Petronella can't be the scout, but I want her to activate relatively early so she can hand over a mm. additional action to one of the fighters. I might actually just make Frodi the scout because he he needs to get Alvar to the bonfire anyway. Yeah, uh, we may as well force him in there first, and then we can work out the best way to handle this situation mm -hmm. afterwards. Well, remember what remember what he said. He said that they are coming for me, so. Um, okay. Uh, in that case, I definitely want them in the middle of the camp and not somewhere around the outside. Sure. So, so we'll make Frodi our scout for today. Okay. And then I think we're ready for the fate card. Yeah. All right. Um, so there we go. That is our new fate card. Do you want to do the honors? Yes, sir. All right, so the event is, what are the orders? All your companions look haggard. No one seems to realize the gravity of the situation and all eyes now turn to the leader. His decision or her decision uh, will bring you out of this strange torpor. Will, he, will she bark orders to urge you to hurry or will she reassure you? So the um, leader the person with the leader token applies mm -hmm. one of the following effects. So you can move as many nearby or adjacent active heroes of your choice, one area, lose one morale per move, mm -hmm. or you can gain two morale. Okay. And it's your choice, Queen. We only get one action for this turn. So. Right. 
in the position we're in, uh, adjacent also counts as nearby. So that would be everybody except our two, our two foragers could move, but that would cost us a fierce amount of morale. And do we really need to move? Really? Hmm. One, two, three. I think I am going to, I think I'm going to gain two morale. Okay. Um, I don't think we need to push too far. So yeah, I think okay. that's that's sensible. All right. So while we're here, we just need to make sure that we understand that we only get to one action, one action, but we can spend food to get an additional action. Mm -hmm. So um, we do have looks like four food. Four so food. Um, we might we might need to. Uh, um, use some of that food for extra actions yeah and the queen can bestow an extra action to somebody as well mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so we can we can kind of combo those to do what needs to be done okay i, I think i think we're still in fine fettle yeah and, um and as if, i say I that could... the bonfire burns out burns out Ooh. Um, if I may make a, a, uh, an argument for mm -hmm. Bergen to get the extra uh, extra action, mm -hmm. because I think I can get um, I can get I can get her uh, I, I can definitely get Rolf uh, mm -hmm. I'm sorry Olaf to um, get out there and flip over that threat token yes and then and possibly get an attack. Mm -hmm. um, and then I can also move her one closer to try to get set up for an attack next round. Okay. So, How much food have we got? Four. Four. Okay. So the first thing we have to do is uh, I'm going to get my action tokens off here. Our scout mm -hmm. will go first anyway, but I think we can we can use our familiars to good effect here. Yes. Um, we need to. Yeah. So. <laughs> Uh, that's that. We're on one, and we're, yeah, we're just ready to go straight into the move. So, first things first, Fruity the Scout will attempt to drag Alvar towards the bonfire. Well, where the bonfire will be if we can find Brody. some find some wood. Oh, he's terrible! Oh, oh you're dear. so bad at your job, Fruity. <laughs> So bad at your job. You had one job and you failed to do that. Um, and support is always nearby. So, yeah, so it seems to be the same hex. Oh, he can't reroll his own. He can't do anything clever. He's just, yeah, he's, um, just, he's just failed. You failed at your job, Fruity. Well, you, you have the option to use a food to, to retry. I am thinking we may need a that we may need well we may need our food for our familiars though. Rolf will require two, and I and and Olaf requires one. Yeah, um, I don't know if Arnolf the cat is worthwhile. If Arnolf is in an area containing a totem, reduce by one the number of threats that may appear here. We could burn all of the food on familiars. But I, th I think we certainly need at least three. Yeah. So I'm going to say n not this turn. Okay. He'll he'll just have to stay out in the cold for a turn longer. That's all. We've plenty, yeah, he, we've plenty of morale. Everybody's happy. He, they know exactly he's what they're doing. He doesn't know anything. He, he he's doesn't. Fine. No, he's grand, and everybody else knows that the queen has this. She has this. <laughs> so, um, so that is the scout's move. So, Frody, you have. Failed me again. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Um, I think I think we're gonna go ahead and have. Um... Do you want to bring our forager in out of the cold? Well, that's what I was thinking about doing. Um, the thing is, if I move into this area, mm -hmm. um, I'll get ambushed, and I don't want that. So okay. I might need to uh, reveal this threat first. But we'll 
searching that will cost her one of her or revealing it will cost her one of her actions. Right? Yeah. Well, her her only action. Yeah. yeah. Um, or she could just book it back over the mountains where she came from because she doesn't have the same restrictions that we do for moving into areas. Yeah. Right? So, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> so, um, it's up to you. We have we have the food option if you want to try and uh, reveal it earlier. Well, like I said, I think um, you know revealed revealed threats are always better than unrevealed ones. Okay. So that helps us kind of plan a little bit better, and it it uh, makes them a little bit less potent. Mm -hmm. So, um, let's see here. Her perception is not only two um and her accuracy won't help at all so mm -hmm. i don't know two successes says, to do it yeah that's two successes hmm. well, i don't know what do you think should i should i risk the perception i mean it, it's a two dice roll it's a possibility i could get four successes but um Two sides of the dice have one on them, mm -hmm. and only one has two. So, and the only alternative would be to send somebody like Jeroff or um, yeah. Hemming out away from the bonfire to try and lick themselves. No, I, Jeroff's mm, perception is better. Yeah, although at that point he would be. He, he's also using wood. Uh, he, he's, food yeah, he's using food, and he's moving away from safety. I think run her back, and we just we just have to accept that it's going to creep a bit closer for a turn. Okay, so one, two, mm -hmm. we'll come here, and that's her action. Okay. So, oh, I forgot. What does she do here? Hold on. Strand dog. Let me see what her, let me see what her thing is here okay. first of all because I could use also can move one area and perform a range attack in the order of your choice. She only has shoot one. That's a free action. It costs a morale to do that. Well, I can't. It has to be revealed, so hmm. I can't attack an unrevealed threat. So that that doesn't do any good right now. No. Go ahead. Handy next turn though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. Um, okay, so... My feeling... Possibly is to go for Petronella now. Uh, it would cost three of our four meat to do what I'm thinking of doing, which would be to move into the Hex uh, with Bernhall. Um unleash the hound and then grant <laughs> and then grant you an additional action but the hound then could get in to the bee area and reveal that threat and attack it right but it is three meat um which would only really leave us one unless somebody hunts it's the only way to hunt is uh, yeah the only prey is behind there so no <laughs> hunting right. is not an option right now <laughs> What's Alver taste like? Has anybody tried? No, no, ignore me. We don't have any mustard. There's no. We're we're not that desperate no. yet. Yeah, <laughs> yet being the operative word. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, I think I'm gonna. I'm certainly gonna move her up because there's no point in having her away from our fighter. So she's gonna move in here uh, beside Bergen and grant Bergen an extra action. Um, and then do you need more than one meat if we can, if Rolf can reveal an attack? Um, uh, Olaf only needs one. He only needs one. Yeah. Uh, what's his valiance? Two. Two. I have a valiance of three. Mm -hmm. So a perception of two for revealing. Um, mm. If I send them out there, 
and he fluffs everything. Do we have enough left to do anything? Well, um, I think we've got four food right now. So yeah. if you have to spend one to give her an extra attack and then two, yeah. I'll still have one to uh, release to, uh, to, to get Olaf in there. Olaf. And then you've got your bonus action from the queen. So yeah, let's, you, yeah. Let's go with that. That seems like something that is doable. Bump, bump, bump. So three meat go away. She will release the hounds. And he actually can move all the way into this area. So with a perception of two. Does he does he need to roll to reveal? Yes. Just yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you do. So okay. he, he still has to roll two. Two dice, and then he needs one success. Survey says that is exactly, exactly what I didn't want to see. <laughs> I'm nothing if not consistent. The only, and I will say this, the only saving grace is his special ability. So if we get another bad roll, hostiles, threats in his area stop their move. So I'm Presumably that will stop them leaving before he returns to me. Yeah. So okay. it's not great. It's not terrible. It's not great. But let's face it, it wasn't great. Sure. It's very bad. Bad okay. dog. Well, bad. That's, that's bad dog. Bad, bad dog. dog. <laughs> All right. Um, so we're going to have go ahead and have uh, Bergen go first. Yep. And um, we'll send... We'll send... Uh, We'll send Olaf on out there to mm. join Rolf and see if we can uh, do a little bit of uh, uh, damage and good here. So we spend one food for that. Yep. So should be our last. Yep. And uh, he has a uh, two perception. So that's what we're going to roll. And look at that. There's a lot of that going about these days. Horrible rolling. Horrible, horrible rolling. Right. We haven't done we haven't done well there. That's, no, we that's, haven't. You know. So um, I'm gonna use my last action to kind of just move. Well, you know what? Hmm. So what what is the what is that hostel going to do? They're going to come after Alvar. Um and then the lowest person so they're just gonna they're gonna go for Alvar. Mm -hmm. Um but. which means they're gonna probably move here to where the D totem is. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna move Bergen here and but with Rolf's ability, yeah. will he will they get the chance to move out of that? I don't think so. I don't think so. so. Not with Rolf's not not yeah. with Rolf being in there. Yeah. No. So because um, I think let me double check, thing, but I think they stay around. until the end of the yeah they they stay until the end of the round. Yeah. They, not just the end of the hero phase. Yeah, they were moved at the end phase. It's been every bit as miraculous as I thought it would be so far. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I I don't know about you, but. Uh, Ingvild seems to be dancing around praying at the moment, and I think she's right. Call of the Wild, no. Animal, se oh, animal senses would have been great, huh? Although it wouldn't have affected Olaf anyway, because it has to be a... It has to be a hero ruling the search. Um, do I want to pray right now with her? I don't think I will pray... I think I will move her in beside Fruity on the off chance she gets the chance to heal Fruity next turn. Mm. I think that's sufficient right now. Okay. So back to yourself. All right. Well, I've got. Uh, how are we doing on wood? Three? Three wood. Um. I think this action, this turn, I'm just going to, um, I'm going to do the uh, woodcutting action again, mm -hmm. because, uh, and then after that, I'm going to, I'm going to move, move down to uh, start heading off this, uh, this bad guy over here. Okay. Um, 
Well, so wood, wood cutting would be your would only be, action. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's going to be six um, plus one for loner. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Okay. Uh, so I get seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's these guys right here. Oh, a whopping three. Three. Isn't know, that special? We'll, we'll take three. All right. So three, three wood. That is. Uh, and then I'll just flip the token back to wood cutting. Bring back what you can. The fire is growing dim. There you go. I. And that flips this over. Yeah, I've already flipped it. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, so I get it. Okay. So I only have Gerolf left. Gerolf. Um, he will just spend two wood to light the bonfire. Yeah. Because I can't see anything else he can do that would be... Oh, well. Who have you left? You have Hyming? Yes. And uh, I think he's just going to light the fire again. In that case, I will use my turn just to attempt to heal uh, Gerolf then. With his action. So a single dice. Okay. Since you're going to light the fire anyway, I may as well try and come in here fighting fit. Oh, and I get another wound. Oh, the dice do not like us today. Not this round. This oh, has been a pretty bleak round, this. that's for sure. Okay. Uh, I think I'll drop that onto support. Oh, speaking of support, does Hemming have support? He does. Oh, in that case, I'll be re-rolling that blank before I place that wound. Oh, it, oh, it, oh that's Geralt. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. see him. Okay, I, good. So I, you don't I, get that. I still don't get a wound back, but I don't lose it. Right. Yeah, I, I forgot. The way I'm looking at the board, he, he, he doesn't look like he's in that same hex as, oh. as uh, Jaime. That's, that's me all done, then. It's just, uh, just yourself. All right. Well, we're just going to use two wood and... Um, mm. Flip the fire. And flip the fire, yeah, so that we don't lose the, those extra two morale. Yeah. So... I think we're looking um, looking good on morale at the moment anyway. I think we can afford to start losing some. <laughs> and that's where it started to take a turn downhill, folks. <laughs> Did he say morale or people? I, I yeah. It was far away. I couldn't really hear. All right, so uh, now we go to the um, Yes. We go to the hostiles phase. So threats move. Um, mm. So we're all headed for Albert. So these guys are going to move here. Yep. And these guys would move, but because of Wolf, um, they trapped. don't. Good yeah, dog. They stay around. Um, so that one's good. And now threats shoot with the X skill mm -hmm. and perform ranged attacks. Um, but there are no ranged attacks on this card so they don't oh, actually do any attacks excellent news all right um hostiles who are not engaged move that mm -hmm. doesn't count engaged hostiles attack that doesn't count new threats appear that, that uh, i believe happens um a gets another threat token okay that's so, that's all right a seems far away it's in the mountains um, yeah that might be might not be the best thing <laughs> <laughs> Um, so that gets another threat token there, okay. and I believe that's that. Now we need to lose. Um, no okay, there's no, no there's no, no loss of morale, no loss of morale again. Wow, that's kind of a uh, strange. I, I'm willing to take it, but our familiars return to us at the end phase. Yes, that is correct. So at this point, Rolf will come back, as will Olaf, and that is the end of our third turn and things are starting to get a little bit colder little bit, and a little bit friskier. A little bit tense. Mm. Okay, so um, we are starting round four now mm. and so we'll move our little marker over here to the four. Boom. Yep. 
And as a recap, we still have 10 morale mm. and we've got four wood, but we have no food. No food. None, none whatsoever. Nobody's hungry. Um, That's okay. Um, well, it's, it's, I don't know. It's not that big of a, of a deal because we just won't be able to use our familiars, mm. but if we could get that quarry token over there, um, that would be good. Yeah. In, in but, some respects, I mean, if, you know. if the threat had moved, it meant you could have hooked sure. in behind. So in some respects, Rolf failed us twice. Even when we, <laughs> even when we thought Rolf was doing the good thing, Rolf was bad. Um, Great. I mm. am thinking of keeping Frody as the scout. Um, cause I don't see any reason to inflict it on anyone else right now. So that just means we have to go to fate again. So fate card for turn four is scapegoat. Faced with the magnitude of the disaster, your leader loses her temper and takes it out on one of you, much to that person's astonishment. But uh, Adam missions are something a good thing, or sometimes a good thing, and the poor devil is now much more energetic. The scout designates another active hero, or sorry, the leader designates another active hero, and the hero suffers a wound and gains plus one action. Yes. Um, we only have one action for this turn and have to spend food for additional actions. It's not great. Um, nope. I've seen worse. <laughs> I've seen worse. Who, who would be best? You know, if I give somebody a Chinese burn for an additional action, who, who would? Su I suppose Bergen is probably the most sensible. Yeah, because then could she be. could spot and then attack, possibly, mm -hmm. or spot and then retreat. Yes. Um, everybody else is mostly, mostly fine. Shall we say mostly? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I could. Dring is also a, a possibility, possibility, but he's he's more wounded than, than Bergen is. Okay. But uh, it's up to you. Because um, he could he could conceivably. Um, oh, move and attack if we. Well, if he if he goes in there, he'll be ambushed. But but if if somebody else goes first, so if. Um, sure. Because we've got Gerald there dancing around like a, a loon in the adjacent hex. If he spots it and or fails, and then if Hemming has a chance, so we've got two chances to reveal it, possibly right. even three if we need to, and yeah. then send yeah. him in. There is a second one right behind, though. Yeah. I just noticed, so. Yeah, well, we, we need to get, we need to get yeah, some of these. We need to get them, some of them up, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, oh, but Dr yeah, Streng has a wound. But if I if I give Dreng a nasty Chinese burn, that just makes him better at fighting. Oh, well, not yet, but he's getting not close yet, to be yeah. better. Um, Either one, it, it's it's it, really six yeah. of one half a dozen the other, really. Uh, I, because we know where Alvar is going to be and we know the threat out there mm. beside the campfire is going to more or less come in there. Sure. Um, I think it's probably Dreng isn't the best position to Drang is in the best position to reach and do some damage so I'm going okay. to drop that wound beside you and I'm very sorry but have a bonus action that's okay um, and so once again we play the how many blank sides have these dice got game with uh, our scout Frody <laughs> they tell me there's not that many let's just get the ball bundled up and throw them into the air Hooray! Hey, he got it. He, he got it. He moves into there, bringing Alvar. Oh, let's just pick Frodi up. And he arrives whenever he reaches the bomb farm. We gain two morale. Is that right? Or does the bomb fire need to be lit? The first time Alvar's token is located in the same area as the bomb fire, you gain two morale and you advance the heal Alvar objective marker. Yep. So, I assume. Well, let's see. Flip, flip it, 
Um, I think I think he is in the area where the bonfire is. Yeah. So advance the marker and uh, and gain two morale. Okay. So we shall advance heal Alvar. Finally, on turn four. <laughs> um, <laughs> and gain two more morale. If only we'd had a fate card that allowed us to burn morale. Mm. That would have been great. Yeah. Oh, could you imagine? <laughs> morale for an extra activation, you say, sir? Oh, I'll have several. Thank you. <laughs> Everybody gets an action this turn, but no. no. Right. Not, not to well, be on, on the house. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, uh, Freddy is gone. That is his action for this turn. Let's just pop those action cubes okay. off. Um, and I'm going to withhold Drang right now. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do Bergen. Mm -hmm. And uh, Bergen is going to uh, go ahead and try to do a perception. Would it? I'm just, oh man, you know would, what? Would it would it be good if I sent the queen out to tell Bergen that she thinks Bergen is much better than Drang, and she can have an extra action as well? That probably would be good. Yeah. In which case, we could use <clears throat> one of yours back here to start I'll spotting. Just, I'll um, you want me to do this? Oh, let me see. Well, what well I don't know. Perception is. I don't know who's. Hemming's perception is three. That's not bad. No. Nope. Three dice. Um. I think I'll do that. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> okay. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, roll three dice, and we're trying to reveal mm. that I'm rolling these three that are in the middle here. Okay. And we got one, one which is, is all we needed. Good enough. Yep. So we'll go ahead and flip it, and that's three. All right. So since we have a different, we're not dealing with the uh, vermin anymore. Mm -hmm. This is actually going to spawn um, one of the shadows. If you look over here, we flipped over the the uh, new hostile card that comes up, mm -hmm. and it's a shadow. And only one of these guys shows up, but the number of circles on the token shows how many uh, token. I'm, I'm sorry, how many wounds. wounds would be inflicted in an ambush? Uh, this is not an ambush situation, so only one uh, shadow shows up. Okay. Um, but, uh, bad enough, we do have, uh, some, some, uh, background text to read mm. for number 191. Okay. So paragraph 191 in the saga book. So, a ghostly apparition stands before you. Its gigantic misty form can only be a divine manifestation or an evil one. Noiselessly it begins to lumber forward before uttering these simple words, which seem to sound only in the deepest depths of your skulls. Move aside. The one you have poisoned is due to us. His journey will continue at our side. Nothing seems to stop this aberration from another world. You all tremble and prepare for the worst. So that's heartening, <laughs> I feel. <laughs> Right. So, uh, Hyming, uh, is the one that unveiled that. Mm. And so he starts playing a, a little bit of a lighter tune on his, uh, <laughs> on his harp. Come on, fellas, we can do this. <laughs> uh, would have to be one heck of a harp. <laughs> yes, or, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, so, uh, I think we only have one action. So only that's, one, yeah. that's it for Hyming. He's done. Okay. So... And, um, I will, in that case, I'm going to send the queen out because she's not one to shirk, um, but I will send her into Bergen's area and bestow the gift of another action upon Bergen. Man, you're... You're giving uh, rug burns to some people. You're you're encouraging others. You just oh, it's, you know it's it's the uh, velvet glove concealing it, concealing an iron fist type of thing. You know, <laughs> some you some people need love and respect and warmth, and some people need to be kicked because they're too slow bringing the wood back. I'm just saying. Yeah. <laughs> so that's All me. Right. Let me look at the shadow a little bit here to see mm -hmm. what. Uh, may or may not want to do all right so they have a three defense so we have to do three points of damage to them 
to knock them out. Do they have any wounds? They do not have wounds. So we need to do three damage to them in order to knock them out. Okay. They're moving one. They have a valiance of two. Okay. Um, I'm thinking that I, I should probably maybe take a pot shot at them with Oslog. Yes. Um, yeah, using her. Um... And, and, and kind of save Bergen. Um, and yeah, as a follow up, <clears throat> or I could I could go ahead and move Dring in there. Area I could do that right now. Attack. So as a free action, Oslog can move and attack, but her valiance is only two, so she won't actually. Well, she 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 has a chance, but it's it's a lower chance of actually polishing it off. I was gonna I was gonna shoot with her anyway. Yeah. Um, I wasn't gonna do anything else. I wasn't gonna move in there, but mm. I was. Uh, I, I can move Dring in. Uh, Dring has an agility of two, and um, so he can get in there. And mm. with his extra action, he can make an attack as well. And his his attack is much more hardy. Yeah. As he will be alone. Oh, as he'll be alone, and uh, so I think we're gonna do that. Okay. So Drang, the invincible berserker. I'm gonna go one, two to move in there, mm -hmm. and because it's revealed, there's no ambush, um, damage, no ambush or anything like that. And so we're gonna go ahead and take um, seven dice, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's all of these things. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, maybe I'll do a better. There we go. Oh, well, that's good. Four. Four. What did we Actually, four? Okay, so Actually, that probably knocks... more than that. Because yeah. he's a, a Malay Norseman and we have glory oh, to that's right. So, Oh, he could have taken on a whole division. <laughs> All right, so that one's gone. Um, so we'll put that one over here. And he had to use his um, plus one action mm. for taking that wound that I didn't have, but he's done. Okay. Let's see, it's all it's all going swimmingly. Um, I think. The madman. Will light the bonfire. Okay. For want of anything more productive. So um, another thing that we could do. Mm -hmm. This is just an idea I had. I got to double check things. Um. Oh. Yeah. Um. When you are in the same area as another active hero. Never mind. Okay. I was just thinking about that uh, Father Birdo's parchment that I have. Oh, to uh, I'm transfer. Trying to get it to uh, somebody else, but it's it's no big deal right now. Okay. In that case, our delightful madman will burn some of that wood you brought back. <laughs> <laughs> so, two wood go away. Obviously, toss them over there. So, even though it's not a. Even though it's not a physical board game, I'm still as messy when it comes to tokens as I am when I'm playing normally. <laughs> Things just get tossed aside casually. Yeah. It's easier to do it here, though, I think. Well, yes. So, Geralt moves. So that's Geralt. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and have... Uh, we're going to go ahead and have uh, Bergen mm -hmm. um, do a perception check first. Mm -hmm. And... She's only a one, though. Um, but you get but a that, reroll that'll, from that she gets the reroll from the support. Yeah. Yep. So, all right, we'll do this and see what happens. All right. Well, she got it. She got one. Um, yeah. Good enough. So this gets flipped. Mm -hmm. um, and we already read. Yep. The shadow text. So we get another. Another, uh, found okay. Now, what happens here is that um, 
did you well it doesn't matter what was on there okay so what happens here now is the second one has come up yep. and so now this first one mm -hmm. uh actually goes away Ooh. and another one gets flipped ah so it may not be another shadow oh no wait start and flip and it is a, oh it is, it is a shadow color. but but that shadow has different start line oh that's yes horrible yes it's a little bit tough to know mm. <clears throat> so they're coming out in waves okay. um but uh defensive three and it actually has two wounds so we need to yes. beat that defense twice correct oh dear correct correct okay well um uh i don't when you're doing damage, mm -hmm. um, uh, the number of then count the number of successes obtained. Place a wound near its miniature each time you have enough to equal its defense score. So yeah. if I get six hits, if I get six successes, it'll knock it out. Oh well, that's that's all right then. You can go ahead and do that now, Sam. <laughs> you know. I'll wait. I'm not in any rush. So, um, all right. So I've got my uh, shoot one, mm -hmm. I believe. Yep. And uh, combat doesn't help because I am uh, not in melee. Okay. Um, my fierce doesn't count because I'm not in melee. So I only get my shoot one, which is five dice. <clears throat> so um, we're going to go ahead and do that. Five dice and with a reroll, because we fifth. haven't used that yet for support. Correct. That's one, two, three. So that'll cause one wound. Three, I'll yeah. reroll this blank here, though, mm -hmm. just so that uh, never know your luck. You never know. And that's four. four. So it, it causes one wound. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll take take a wound marker over here. Mm -hmm. And place it right next to that guy. Good bargain. <clears throat> and Where that's would we both be? of my actions. Where would we be without the women in this party? Still back on the boat, I feel. Yes. It'd be at the bottom of the ocean, probably. <laughs> so, uh, I only have uh, our delightful healer left. So, is there anything clever she can do? She still has a wound of her own. Um, or, actually, I will just move her into bomb fire territory. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so even if everybody retreats to the bomb fire next turn, she's in a position where she can heal another character. Drang, if anybody needs it, Drang. I'm not saying. <laughs> he should retreat, but if he does retreat, Dreg, then he'll be fine. So that's the end of the heroes. Yep, that's yep. the end of the hero phase. All right, so um, there is... <clears throat> so we look at the uh, sheet here, and mm -hmm. they're all heading for Oliver. Okay. So this guy is going to come in here, and this is going to be actually pretty bad for for Drang, mm. because this person is going to move in here, and when he does, he ambushes, which uh, does reveal him. Okay. So we know that another shadow comes up here, but we have to, since it's an ambush, we have to uh, flip it, Ooh. and that's bad. Oh, that's because, not good. Like, well, it it, uh, it it makes all of his uh, special abilities go away. Along with um, his consciousness. Yes. Uh, so that's that. One, two, and three okay so not good no um he needs some healing uh but you already said that yeah well um i didn't expect it to be so so quick though <laughs> yeah it would have been better to you know kind of have uh i'm gonna attempt to lay him down look at me go watch as i work out how to flip things over and rotate them <laughs> all right so the shadow is there and um, now, since a, a third shadow has been revealed, this one comes away. Okay. And this one is Blitz. Okay. So this was and another so, oh, much, much beefier. Thankfully, 
if we can hit him, yeah. we can kill him. But right. Okay. Now, does this apply to the shadow that's already spawned at the far side of the board, which, yes. which had taken a wound? So, yeah. Even though we we came close to polishing it um, off this turn, it... that's a good question. That's a really good question. Um, all you right. Do. So when when we um, when that third mm -hmm. uh, shadow card is revealed, it basically resets this one. So we've done one wound to it, but okay. with it gets uh, re reinvigorated, so to speak. Okay. Um, when that third one pops up, so we still we still only have to hit it once. Okay. But now we have to get four hits on it to knock it out instead of just three. Um, but while we're talking about that, I, one thing that I forgot to mention was mm -hmm. that when we killed the first shadow, we did have a paragraph that we needed to read oh, out yes. of the saga book okay. so that we can carry along with the narrative story. So um, why don't you go ahead and do that for us? Okay, so 202. Um, As the shadow vanishes, you struggle to understand how your blades could have had any effect on such an entity. And then with a flash of understanding, you realize you have displayed courage, enough to dispel this creature who was supposed to inspire great fear. The loud clacking of the crow's beaks can be heard, while a voice made of tangles of screams and groans grows louder. A hundred intonations are united in a single voice. I strike like lightning. Your muscles stiffen, your throat tightens as the embrace closes around you. There is no more beautiful release than a sudden death when you wear my mask. A bloated face twisted into a scream that echoes and lasts forever. As this second shadow advances, you feel fatigue of the previous fight weighing down on you. Your legs are numb, fingers tense and painful, and blood from your lungs, battered by effort, rises in your throat. Despite the pain, you are still ready to fight. If the first one fell, it must be possible to destroy the second. So we must... Um, okay, so we're going to... We're going to advance the heal Alvar yep. uh, token. And uh, so we'll do that. Get a morale. And then um, I think we've already done everything else that that card calls for. Okay. You know, the uh, the uh, heal the uh, heal Alvar card is, uh, or situation is already in effect. Mm -hmm. um, and we gain one morale. So go ahead and add one to our morale track. And uh, we should be good to go. The ever increasing morale track. <laughs> well, we haven't been using it as as uh, as much as um, no. I'm I'm going to start burning morale like there's no yeah. tomorrow. Everybody gets morale. <laughs> um, um, okay, so and I believe um, we spawn a hostile at A, and the end phase is quite good for us again. Let's see. Did we move? Um, so threats move. That's what happened. That's what that's what caused the ambush. Yes. Oh, and then second threat threats activity. with shoot X skill perform, yep. and they don't have that. So hostiles who are not engaged move. Okay. So they're going to go for Alvar, which uh, is pretty much. Um, I think it's they're just going to move. This guy's just going to move here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Yeah, it's six of one um, half a dozen the other. Yeah. No, the one that was revealed that had been a, th a threat, who took down Dreng, will he also move in? Um. Now that it is a reveal. I don't hostile. think that he is engaged. Because he's in an area with a unconscious. Because hero. Yeah. because he's down, he's yeah. unconscious, so he's not engaged. Um. So they're not. He's not going to attack, and the movement phase is already. Mm uh been done so we just go to new threats up here okay that's slightly better news for us this turn uh except the next new threat is coming straight out of the mountains again yep so another threat token here mm, gets added a they, they've clearly spotted the uh gap in our lines yeah yep yep hmm that's in the end phase, we lose nothing, so that's yeah. excellent. Um, well, that's because everything else is hitting the van. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, a little bit, a little bit. Could use some food so we can get our hmm. familiars back in the back in the fight, but. Um, 
I'm not doing bad, I guess. <laughs> I like um, that. But we just realized we only have two more two more rounds. We've got this round and the next before we hit another event, which hmm. I don't I don't remember what that could be. So let's let's not find out. Right. Can, um, All right, so that scout token needs to be given to someone yeah. before we flip the uh, event card. Heal Alvar requires uh, two spaces. Are they just two turns where he's beside a lit bonfire? Um, or can he be healed like anybody else? Uh, no. no. Um, That's a shame. The, the, there, there's no hit points for him to heal, so... The heal Alvar is basically we we need to take care of all of these shadows. Okay, so it's that's it's that, that's dependent. generally speaking what what happens. Okay, I'm sure we can do that. I have faith in us and my fantastic <laughs> leadership that has brought us this far. <laughs> okay, so scout this turn. Um, it's a good question. Rudy is actually not bad at fighting. Uh, and he has Frenzy and Armor Breaker. Yeah, right Right now, this one over here is the one we really need to take care of. Because next round, it's here. Yeah. And uh, that's not good. Yeah. Um, but I suppose before we do that, we need to flip the event card and see how bad our day is about to become. Yeah. If you want to. that and then drop that there and our vent this turn you want to do the honors vengeful spirits there is one among you who can no longer take being insulted and pushed to the back without saying a word he lets you know by shouting before taking the initiative the active hero with the most wounds or the lower rank in case of a tie gains the following roll and bonus tokens so um, I don't think that Drain mm -hmm. is in this because he's actually unconscious. So uh, um, it is the next person who has the most wounds, and I don't think that's any of my people. I have two on Frody. Looks like Frody is going to be the one. So he takes... Is this uh, because I made him drag Alvar all the way from the long ship? Yes. So he's going to get an additional Fair. die token, okay. which is over here in the resources pool. Excellent. And he's also going to get the scout token, uh, I believe, as well. Well, he's, he's already got the scout token, so we'll just keep that rolling, shall we? Yes. But that's handy, because that, that essentially <laughs> is... That's plus one valor, is what that is. Mm -hmm. um, now, heroes are going to have two actions this turn. Yep. Um, and then on this turn, uh, at the end, we're going to have another hostile appear. Mm. on A, but uh, another quarry is going to appear on C. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I don't feel as bad. I have a question. Um, yeah. It's not going to affect us immediately, but if we have multiple people in uh, the area where Dreng is at the end of the turn and a threat moves in unrevealed, is it target priority for who gets the ambush or is the ambush applied to everyone? Um, good question. Mm. <clears throat> I'm not saying I'm definitely going to throw mad men and old ladies in front of Alvar <laughs> at the fire. <laughs> um, Nobody said I was a nice queen. They were ambushes. All right. So basically what happens here is that uh, since the amb if the ambush happens, um, it will follow the prey priority order. Okay. Um, so um, if we look at the Shadows Prey Priority Order, mm -hmm. uh, they'll go after Alvar first, if that's the case. Mm -hmm. And if he's not available, then um, it'll be the person with the lowest, lowest willpower. willpower. Okay. And then after that, the rank, the, okay. the one that's highest rank. So I mean... Yeah, if, if Fruity is in there, Fruity has the lowest willpower. You know, set of a. <clears throat> these things are sent to try Frody, and he knew the risks Here, when he signed on. Here's another thing that it can happen, though. I could have Oslog. Um, mm, well, I don't know. She only has a perception of one, I think. Um, mm, oh, to spot it beforehand. 
it's, it's spotted before it comes in. Yeah. Um, so essentially, it would be a, a 50 50 at that yeah, point. Yeah, it would. It would. Which, you know, we're not going to have to worry about that at this exact moment. Right. Because we'll we'll run with Fruity as our scout. He can move forward and attempt to dispatch this first shadow anyway. Um, mm -hmm. Bonfire, we need to flip to. Oh, out. Shame, it was such a warm, rosy glow. I can't imagine Dren going out to fetch us any more wood anytime soon either. Right. Um, yeah, so. Well, this is turn six, isn't it? Better uh, advance the counter. I don't, I don't mm. really follow if I did or not. No, no, this, this is us up to turn six, so. Okay, Frody, having cast off his burden, and by burden I mean Alvar by the fire, he will advance into the forest where he can hear the dying screams of Dreng. Dreng, why on the floor? Oh, because of that shadow. That makes so much more sense. Mm. He does have Valiance of Four. He can spend an additional die if needs be. Um, Frenzy's not going to be any use to us, so that's a shame, but we can live with that. So we'll just have to uh, just have to go with it, I suppose. Four yeah. dice. We need four to beat the armor of the shadow. If memory serves. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So you've got to you've, you've got to do four or better. So if, as long as you score four, then you're good to go. I'm going to spend that bonus dice I got from getting all belligerent and running off into the forest, screaming <laughs> that I'm better than this. I am not a yeah. mule. I am not a pack animal. <laughs> and uh, I will roll these five, and hopefully everything will come up fruity. Give that a go. Into the air. One, two. Now, are you Norse? I am Norse. So those two then world serpents. Those two, those two snakes count as hits as well. Then all glory so to Tear. See Tear. These new modern Christian gods are no use. You need the <laughs> old gods. So. He goes over to there, um, because we have defeated him, we have to read 280. The ghost vanishes forever in a scream. The crows are still there. They're waiting. Alvar utters a rant of relief. Could his ills have disappeared along with those messengers of the dead? Move, heal Alvar. One step forward. We're getting dangerously close to healing this poor fellow. Mm hmm Well, I, I think um, uh, I think this is still out here now that I now that now that you read that. Okay, okay. Because well, once we in that case once we once we eliminate the second one, yep. it, we're gonna read that and last. it's gonna tell us to write. Okay. That's all right, there's at least one threat still out there. Nah, it's okay. Bergen's about to take care of that that problem. <sighs> Um, okay, that's all I can do with Fruity. Okay. So, who won? Is it Bergen straight to Bergen? Oh, absolutely. She's got this ghostly apparition staring her down, so mm. she's not she's not too happy about that. So uh, we've got uh, first of all combat. She is in melee now, so she's going to be rolling an extra dice. So that's mm -hmm. six. Uh, and then when she's in melee, the snakes also grant her additional hits as well. Um, so we're going to uh, let loose. Practically Norse. So we're going to... We've got six dice altogether. So we've got these guys right here. With a reroll from the queen for support, if required. And I can reroll one, right. And one, that is two, one, two, three, three, four, five, four, six. Four. Five, six. Amazing. So that is definitely squishy, squishy. Uh, for that shadow. 
by the L. And so now we read um, 234. 234. They mocked me when I said I wanted to find my husband, you know. 234. <laughs> you delivered a significant blow to the ghost, but it's not fatal. It changes shape once again, but it's weakened. Continue the effort. Gain one morale, move heal Alvar forward one step, and discard this hostile card. Yeah, so uh, we move Alvar one more step up, and we kind of did it out of order, but <laughs> it's 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 fine. Yeah. We simply have to read 123 now. All right, 123. Um, you cast suspicious glances at your own brothers in arms. The ghosts have been dispelled, but some of their words disturb you. Um, the one you poisoned, Alver was poisoned? Who poisoned him? When was he poisoned? How was he poisoned? The snap of their beaks louder than ever. The ebony silhouettes of the birds sway with the branches on which they're resting swayed by a strong north wind. When an empire is to fall, the attacker is careful not to attack its walls, but destroys it from the inside, Alvar says, as he painfully gets up. Your leader is up again. He's looking at each of you with a clear and deep gaze. But let's not let the venom of suspicion threaten our clan. Those creatures could have said anything to make us bend. What have you learned, brothers, he finally said. If find your clan objective marker is in a dark square, read 256. Otherwise, read 121. It is not yet in a dark square. It's still in light. So it's in a light square, so we need to read 121 first. Alvar is not impressed with your clumsy story. Odin's black cloud of crows, loud croaks that resonate like snares of a vile old man. They attend the scene as most attentive audience. Infamous felons. Alvar, perched on a stone, scrutinizes the whole group standing in front of him. The black hand of his contempt points at the congregation facing him, and his murderous verve reigns sarcasm and sermons. Whom have I the honor, if any remain? My brothers, my companions, my grave diggers. On this day, the dozen survivors that we are is a corrupt dozen. May Odin pour his thousand plagues upon the author of this treachery. And if I do not find him myself to pluck out his eyes and feed them to the worms and crows. As long as the culprit is lurking in the shadows, I have no choice but to trade all the respect I have for you for an ever-present mistrust. I could see from the bottom of the well of the afterlife that mutual aid and brotherhood were not among your priorities. I deplore it. But let only one of you dare to stand before me, and the edge of my axe will offer him a death far quicker than the one I came close to on that cursed ship. You are now warned, and you will understand why the village elders have given the war name of Alvar, tough as iron. So Alvar okay. gains the hero card, the suspicious. Yes, so if we go over here on the uh, side of the board here, we had a couple of different all of our cards that are available. Mm -hmm. And so we are going to basically use the one that is uh, the suspicious, which is this one right here. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go ahead and take a look at that. Sure. Um, it says, um, so this is going to be a card that, that follows Alvar through the rest of the, of the sagas. Yeah. And so the bitter taste of betrayal, betrayal sees an Alvar completely out of control, full of anger and hatred. In his dreams, Alvar finds the traitor and executes him. When he's awake, he can't do anything but think of who nailed him onto Hela's bed. Uh, he has to be patient. The traitor will make a mistake eventually. And when this happens, the acts of vengeance will instantly hit the back of the felon's neck. Um, and so as a free action at the end of Alvar's activation, if there are at least two active heroes in his area, you gain one morale. Uh, so he's basically keeping an eye on everybody at this point. Um, if we had, see, how close were we? Yeah, if we had, um, yeah, if we had found, uh, if we had gotten somebody over here, which is, I was trying to get Auslog over there yeah. to do it. Um, uh, this round, but it, had we gotten somebody over there, we would have advanced it one more, mm. and uh, it would have played out in a whole other way. 
it, it would have, we would have read different things and we would have a different card that Alva would be carrying with sure. him and he'd be a different, uh, a, happier a, a, Alva. a different person in a slightly different way. Yeah. yeah. So it's fascinating. Um, it's, it's fantastic to see how the choices you make and not just the choices, but sometimes how you fail to execute a plan perhaps or the priorities that you make i mean we were looking for food and shelter we weren't worried about exploring so much but right that was the eye of alver's mission which was to find his king and his lost kin and therefore mm -hmm. this is the uh the result of those those missteps yeah um, so yeah it's it's a delightfully intriguing proposition to play out these sagas and mm -hmm. I, I presume this is the is this the end of of this scenario well we, well Alvin? we do have one more paragraph to read um okay. because it, it did say that we were going to uh read one more Which was, I believe, um 238 i think let's see i'll have to pop back to yeah right here the games is especially then they read 230 230 i'm so close <laughs> so close Ah, so we have a conclusion. Yeah. So after enduring these violent skirmishes against the living and what seemed to be the spirits of the dead themselves, silence fell again on this devastated camp. Fatigue wearies your aching muscles, but there is no question of giving into despair and idleness. They are but the vile scouts of certain death. The scattered beams and planks planted in the clay soil depict real carnage. Some of them, however, are still in good condition and lead you to believe that it would be possible to rebuild the camp as you slowly begin the necessary preparations for this initiative. You take a worried look at the edge of the dark forest that borders the area. Is this the realm of these messengers of chaos who are hiding deep in these woods at the end of the worlds? Your predecessors must have fled in that direction. Or have they all perished? Did those filthy natives capture them to satisfy some need of blasphemous sacrifices? If the questions seem unanswered, one thing is certain. When the wind whistles between the trees, one could swear to hear, in the hollow of its whistles, cries of distress coming straight from the forest. To be continued. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Sam, that was fantastic. Um, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed that. Uh, and I, I really like the aspect that this is only one half. This is, this is now our base camp. This is this, the, the uh, fortress that we will build as we explore and adventure Correct. further throughout this uh, troubled land. Um, so we, we have this toss up between this static board with different scenarios and, and stories being told around this and then having to range out and explore and, and try and find uh, the missing king. Um, yeah. But it, it's a, a thoroughly fascinating, very engaging story. Um, yeah. Really enjoyed it. Yeah. Yeah. And this is, this is, as you were saying, this is only one kind of scenario mm -hmm. that the game is going to offer. There is a, as a, a completely different kind of scenario called expedition scenario where it's going to be modular um yeah. you're going to have hex tiles that uh, you're going to be uh placing uh initially to start and then as you go through that scenario you'll be adding more hex tiles to it and as you explore and mm -hmm. uh, so forth so um this is kind of the as you were saying the base camp yeah. and uh when we move out to try to find other stuff that's when the expedition scenarios yeah. will hit and it really has that um, RPG feel as well. It does. Where you're, you're yeah. exploring the area, but you've always got somewhere that is yep. safe, I was going to say, <laughs> to come back to. Right. Um, yeah, for, for a given value of safe on this land. Um, right. Yeah, it, it's been a pleasure to run through this with you. Obviously, yeah, this is still great. ongoing as far as the rules go. I know I have yes. had a look at a rule set that is slightly different from the rule set you had. So people yes. who look at the kickstarter you may see that there are changes 
because there's mm-hmm. there's a lot of play testing ongoing um but yes. hopefully this gives people a really good idea of of one aspect of how hell the last saga will play out on your tabletop mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very Th- good thank you very much uh if you want to know thank anything you. Uh, drop it in the comments below and we'll try our best to get Sam or Leo or uh, the rules writers like David uh, to give yep. us some answers and uh, we'll be back soon. Yeah, we have, we have, uh, we also have all of our uh, avenues open as well. We've got a Facebook group on, um, uh, for this specific game. We also have, you know, the uh, forums Fun. on Board yeah. Game Geek as well. So any place uh, we'd be happy to, to come through um uh, Jerry's, you know, influence as well. So, yeah. just ask questions. We're here. That's We're here right. to help. Hunt, hunt us right, down. Like somebody hunting down Father Bernard. <laughs> Bar- Bardo, yeah. Bardo, 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 yeah. Yeah. Uh, Father, yeah. Father Bardo was sending out little, uh, 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 little quips and and uh, parchment mm. pieces and stuff like that to, uh, you know, just playing a little bit of game, get people interested in it. So. That's still there. You can follow that, but um, uh, you can do that. But yeah, it's great. Fantastic. So the Kickstarter is going to run for two weeks from yep. uh, Tuesday. Uh, March 12th. May. I'm sorry, May 12th. May 12th. May 12th. Uh, so if you're interested, get in there and give them your backing. And we're yeah. going to speak to you again soon, folks. Take care. Thanks so much. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.